Hello and welcome to our Market Alert video for today, which is January 27, 2023. And incredibly, January is already over. Wow, it was New Year's Eve two seconds ago. How fast time flies when you're having fun. I hope you are well, hope you're staying warm. Um, what I call, want to talk with you about uh, this week, and we saw a significant rise in the market. In fact, for this year, January was a big up month. And uh, so what's driving all of that? And there, in our view, there are several factors. One is that the, the headline inflation rate, the way it's calculated, which I'll go over in a future video with you, um, is it, it's, it's putting us in a, a situation where it, it's almost a lock that inflation is gonna go down, the headline number, even if we have elevated inflation. I know that sounds contradictory, but the math of it is that if inflation a year ago versus today is it was higher a year ago than today, even if today is high, it drives inflation down because it's a year on year comparison. And uh, the inflation was so high a year ago and you know the months following that, that the likelihood that the headline inflation rate goes down is, is very high in our view. The market should take that very positively. And so therefore, people are uh, potentially looking at buying ahead of that news. The other thing is that this recession may be the most telegraphed recession ever. Certainly in my career, you know, I don't remember the last time we had a recession that we've been talking about for two straight years and everybody's worried about whether it's going to be bad or not or what's going to happen. As we've said in previous videos, the what drives stock prices in our view is profits. And companies have known about the impending recession. They've known about the rising interest rates. They've known about inflation. They've known about the potential for unemployment. They've known about all this stuff. And so because they've known about it, they've been preparing for two years potentially, if they were smart, but certainly they've been, uh, they, it's not a surprise. And because of that, we think that the, the impact of this coming recession would be not as significant on profits as compared to if it was a surprise. And because of that, if, if profits are not damaged significantly, then their stock prices of those companies would not be damaged significantly. And so we may be uh, nearing a bottom if we haven't reached one already um, in this bear market. So for those reasons, we think the uh, market was up this week. Uh, we continue to counsel our clients to stay out of all stocks and all bonds. Um, it's a 50-50 proposition right now, and we like the odds to be even greater before uh, we, we decide to stick our neck out and, uh, and start looking into uh, stocks again. So for now, we continue to be where we are. Uh, if you are not a client of ours, uh, I'd like to make you an offer. Uh, you can go to our website. It's rpoa.com, and uh, you can uh, click on Meet with an Advisor. And if you do that, We'll sit down with you. We'll build you a retirement plan, a retirement cash flow plan. We call it an RCFP. Um, we'll show you whether you have enough money to retire on, when to take Social Security, uh, save on your income tax. And we'll look at all kinds of stuff with you and uh, build a plan with you, no charge or obligation. Hopefully we can help you. If we do, that's great. And if not, that's fine too. So there's no charge or obligation either way, and we will part friends. So I encourage you to take advantage of that. And uh, I thank you for watching this video and we will talk soon.